What is up guys, Kaden CJHQ here, and we're back with another 555 tower, and today we are doing the Dartling Gunner. So if you haven't seen these videos before, you there is a playlist you could go check out, but basically what I do is I get a 555, I see how far it's able to go unbuffed, and then I god boost it basically with all the buffs that are possible in the vanilla game, even though this is not vanilla. But also, before we hop into this, make sure to smash the subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 10k before the end of the year and YouTube partner. So if you guys are able to help with that, that'd mean the world. But let's first hop into this. And the reason I chose Cubism is because it's the best, <laughs> best, uh, best for this tower, especially just because of the straight line. And I will be just putting down Benjamin right here in the corner just because he will end up making some money for us. And the reason I do have, um, well, I had it low was because I was just recording the Mortar Monkey. And if you saw that, you would understand. The pure amount of projectiles that was coming out of that thing was insane. But if we just put this uh, banana farm right here, we should be just fine. And I will have to upgrade this guy here in a second just because one pierce, one damage. Like, it's good, but it's also not that good, unless I do some micro. And I just really don't like micro, so what I'm probably just going to do is get a 1-1-1. And I have, done, uh, I have done stuff with the 555 Dartling Gunner before. And with that, it's really not all combining. It's just, like, it stacked all the tower types, like, all the paths together, so gonna see uh the plasma the balloon uh exclusion zone and also uh the uh mad so i will see you guys here in a little bit okay so it is round uh 22 and it's finally starting to have some issues so i don't want to leak any lives and also i want to do it slightly more damage you can already see the paths are not lining up good but with this, we should be good. And just because I will know, uh, I do know this is not going to be able to pop those lead balloons. So let's just get a 333. And look at that is just such a massive thing. But this should easily make it uh, till around 40. And then I'll just see how far this is able to get. Okay, so round 39 is coming out currently. And we. I have a lot of money which basically i will just get the monkey wall street but i feel like we have no problem to worry about with round 40 yeah we easily pop this and before we get any further what i am going to do is make my guess and make sure to leave your guess down in the comments but as you can see you can, all the paths are just stacking on top of each other it's not really combining but basically my guess is for unbuff 555 it will get to round 170 and then buffed i am going to say a hundred uh 220 so i will see you when this dies okay so it looks like round 76 is the end just because of the regrow farm but if we just hit retry last round and let's just get the 555 and what i'll do is basically lock this guy up here so this is constant and then also just have it on target independent so the bottom path is able to <clears throat> just target where it needs to. So if we just play this, yeah, we should. 76 is not a problem. So unless this dies before round 100, I will be seeing you guys on round 100. Okay, so round 90 is the limit for the 444. If we just hit retry last round. And, okay. It's, but that's, right, so if I just go to lock. Put this guy up here and then target independent we should just be able to get the 555 which looks absolutely silly and if we just slow it down i don't even the mad even firing wait first of all let's just get a mib and second i i don't okay let me sell this guy real quick and we plop him down. And let's just get Ray of Doom. Bottom path. Because that'll stack up. There. I, I guess I just had a weird cross path. 
Like I did a path wrong. Go. So let's do locked again. And then we should be able to do target independent. And now this should be all good. It has the mad missile. And let's just speed up to round 100. Because that's the amazing thing about mods. It's fast forward mods. So once round 98 comes out, I feel like we're not going to have a problem. Yeah, we're easily dealing with this. So let's also sell Benjamin. Just because he does have Trojan, which does uh, like make no inside. But round 100 seems easy. And also just because I can, I don't have to use funky money. Let's just, how much? Yeah, I barely have any. But if we just, not here, if we just scroll down right here, just get a tech bot right there and hook it up to that. Then his ability is just going to spray wild and I'll see you guys when this dies. Okay, so it died on round 135, which is less than I actually expected. But if we just sell, sell, get down a energizer way back here. Cause yes, sir. And then uh, time for the max buff. So basically what I'm gonna do is just get a spiked mine. Well, super mines. Get, uh, get down a super monkey, I'd say about right here. Sacrifice and then come back down here because I do have to sacrifice again to get the true sun god. And then with this, we get a homeland with um, jungle drums, a call to arms, I am, oh, man. real quick, just because I'm, oh, yep, okay. Well, I gotta, gotta resell everything and try that again, because I accidentally hit the, accidentally hit the magnificent start button, like a big idiot that I am. But if we go like that, and then one more time, sacrifice this, this time, not actually... Starting the round and getting a homeland with call to arm, well, jungle drum, and then a call to arms, and to put this dartling gunner right here. Which for now, I'm just gonna wait until he more equipped. Get perma brew with that. Now we also need a overclock and an ultra boost. Which we will just have here in the top right corner. And with that, let's not forget the Energizer since I did have to restart the round. And I need, well, first this guy. Oh, I haven't upgraded him. But I need one, two, three, four. Four tech bots. Four. Which link, link, link. Um, let me link it to the. Okay, he did get linked. And then I will, so if I just very quickly upgrade him, go top path, bottom path, and then middle path. Okay, so it does look like the path has locked, and let's target independent. We can come over here, get that going, and then once this guy, we can also go like that, which, my god, I forgot how much that was, but once all the arm, I mean homeland, comes off of uh, comes off of working. I will be able to put call the arms on like that. And now this is 100% uh, uptime on like um, the attack speed. So I will see you guys when this dies. <laughs>
round 207 seems to be the round. Let's just restart this and just so it's congruent with all the other tests, I do just have to make sure that it's the same. Just slow down a little bit. We are on normal fast forward speed and it does look like we may be able to handle this, but also it could just be the sheer density. Yeah, like those DDTs are getting by really fast and there's really no damage on the, that fortified bad. See, the normal uh, bads were okay, but is the DDTs just gonna, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the subscribe button, like, and don't forget to comment. And also this got 426 million, this got zero, two million, 50,000, and then 1,000, and then 1,000. Hope you guys have a great day. Boy.